we're going to throw in a little algebra with the adding and subtracting of fractions so that we see how the language of algebra can be used to express a general rule or pattern. Let's start with some very easy um, additions. So if we've got 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5, that should be very easy for you by now. You have the common denominator of 5 already, so you can just say 3 plus 4 over 5 and get your answer of 7 over 5. Similarly, for 3 over 11 plus 4 over 11, you've already got a common denominator, so you can just say 3 plus 4 over 11, and you get your answer of 7 over 11. Now we can use algebra to show this general pattern. What we've seen is if we have 3 over a denominator, and then we have 4 over that same denominator, we've got no problem because we've got a common denominator. So we can just say it's 3 plus 4 over that denominator, which is 7 over that denominator. And the only slight caution here is that that denominator, that p, can't be 0 because division by 0 is undefined. But otherwise, for any number it works. If you've got 3 over p plus 4 over p, you're going to get 7 over p. And we could also generalize this in a different way. We could see here from looking at this one, if we've got 5 as a common denominator, and we've got something over 5 plus something different over 5, our answer is just going to be well, you've got a common denominator of 5, and then you just add the two things together at the top. And here is your final answer. P over 5 plus Q over 5 is just P plus Q over 5. If we have a look at this, P over Q plus R over S. Very, very tempting for people to do this. To say, oh, okay, that's just P plus R over Q plus S. But that is completely, totally, and utterly wrong. You know this. Say, for example, you had to do 3 over 4 plus 2 over 5. You know that you absolutely can't just say it's 3 plus 2 over 4 plus 5, right? You know that that is not the way we add fractions. You've got to have a common denominator for fractions, right? So you go and you see here your common denominator is 20, and you go through that whole process of saying this is 4 times 5 gives you 20, so you've got to have a 15 here, and then 5 times 4 gives you 20, so you've got to have an 8 there, and then it's only when you've got the common denominator that you can then say 15 plus 8, which gives you 23 over 20. So we can put that whole story into algebra. If we want to do P over Q plus R over S, we need to find a common denominator. So we need to take the Q from this denominator, and we also need to take the S from that denominator. And so both of our fractions now have to have a Q and an S in their denominator. This one here already had the Q, but it's missing the S. So we've multiplied by S. If we do that to the denominator, we have to do that to the numerator, and so we'll get PS. This one here already had the S. What it's missing is the Q. So we've multiplied by Q to get here. What we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. And so we'll multiply by Q there. Now we have a common denominator. And so we get PS plus QR. Looks frightfully complicated and messy, this expression. But it's just expressing exactly what we did with numbers.